Hello and welcome to Ghosty having another fun with his subscribers. Today we're going to play Death Road to Canada. What this game is actually is a game about a zombie. You know, it's like a uh it's like a survival game, zombies. But the fun thing is you can play this game with your friends, you know? Right now as you can see, I create my own character, which is Ghosty, and my one of my subscribers that I like is a uh, Pink Rose and uh, Atlas seventy seven. As you can see, he's a as a Pink Rose. She's a civilized. She's a mega buff. Runs in a vaguely silly manner sometimes, and uh, Atlas. Keeps uh, chewing gums in his pants, and a uh, ghosty never seems to sweat. What the hell? So let's get to it, shall we? We just survived a zombie apocalypse, so let's get on with it. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Hopefully, recruit uh, Carla because we help her in the in a in a road. Yeah, uh, recruit Carla for now. Everything seems a good and dandy. The group checks out an abandoned boxing gym and finds a woman in a full boxing gear. She is wailing on a punching bag with blister speed. Her response in the conversation is see creature a random thing about boxing. Uh well, how about we recruit her? Carding a rose to her, she unleashed a big uppercut to fight Carlos Chin. Yeah, that's the real knockout punch. The team makes a room for the boxer ditching Carlos. Well, yeah, yeah, Carla just enter our team and suddenly she's gone. Well, let's arrive on the road. Peace. If you close your eyes, this cat food almost tastes like tuna. What the hell? The ghost? The crew finds a strange repeating message on the radio. It's a series of short bursts of music, beeps, spoken numbers, and a haunting slides a whistle noise. There's also a kazoo in there. What could it mean? I, as a ghosty, will uh, decipher the message. For the teams on radio, message one about it. has an abandoned place or stash of ammo to help other survivors. Okay, got a lot of ammo. Ghosty wits reveal. Yeah, everything's good. yeah, everything's good. The group finds a city in the afternoon, a dead swarm over it, and you're idle now. And by day, you notice soon enough. Should we go to Umbrella Shop, a furniture store? Which is the most worst to go? Well, we choose Umbrella Store, why not? Tinker all night. And I will let uh, Pick Rose handle the uh, tinkering for now. She was eat what she's got. Ah, just improve mechanical skills. Nice, everyone is tired. I can feel that we're going to run into something good. Yes. Big Rose, you're a positive person. I love you. I love you so much. Uh, drive around. A deadly Walmart. Let's go. This is your captain speaking. Let the guy with a chainsaw move around the shopping mall. He's very, very dangerous. So yeah, don't touch him. Seriously, don't touch him. He's too good for this game. Oh, got a lot of fuel. It's an easy run. The car is running fine, but there's an error code shows up on the dashboard. The group has no idea what's wrong with it, so they pull over to see what is up. For now, I want to let uh, Pink Rose help me with this because she's one. Uh, he's a uh, one of my favorite people in the in this channel. You know. Whoa! Thank you, Pink Rose. You easily find the fix. 
Nice. Just gas. The group is sitting around the campfire, finding a campsite was rough. So they're uh, getting a bad mood. The group is a decent meal. Uh, I let Pink Rose plan out for tomorrow. Swap as a an SUV, a big van, big van. We had a lot of food, a lot of ammo, a lot of fuel, a lot of everything. Undead, cause chain reaction. We, now we need to survive. It's only w the only way. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, let's hit the road. The group feel inspired managing to survive that situation. Uh, and I give uh, morale and random skill gain for all the group. Everyone shooting skills is increased. I don't know what to do with the zombo points. It's always 15. A group goes against their judgment and camps their city camps in the city apartment because there's no zombie around when they wake up the building is on fire we have to plan our escape for now big rose will lead to escape tries to keep calm and observe it she keeps calm and leaves unhurt thank you big, big rose for the uh, support on this game you're the best the group can find the car keys after a while, they spot the keys laying around the gator's open mouth. After most human disappear, the alligators start to spread across the entire east coast. It's rumored that the gators may eat zombies and car keys. Ghosty wrestle with the gators, contender tires out the gator, after shoots the gator, after shoots the gator. Just easy. Wow! Atlas, you're dead it again, mate. Wow. Amazing. The group is blocked by one of our survivors' group that set up a barricade to protect themselves and they were dis distrusting and heavily armed. The person they set to talk is strictly annoying. Who should you try to deal with? And the suggestion is Big Rose is... Well, she's charming. And Pink Rose says to take a detour. Well, we'll try Pink Rose. Talk. Pink Rose talks to the annoying representative. She managed to, to be very polite. After enough pointless questioning, the group is let through the barricade. Good job, Pink Rose. You did it again. Han catches a catches up with the group and received the spot and he's offered a reward for thanks for s saving him. Group training mechanic! Because you know, the importance of survival is to have a mechanic training because you don't know, you may find a vehicle so you can train to repair everything. That's the important things at surviving a zombie apocalypse. Yeah, everyone has mechanic skills. Nice. Group runs into a horde of zombies. They were completely docile, just waiting outside the shops in a big single file line. Every zombie is staring straight ahead. You can send someone to join the line and solve the mysteries. Seems like could be way too long. How about we send Pink Rose? Nope. Say contender this time. Just to be sure. I don't want my subscribers just to die like that, right? Mm. Yeah, contender is there. Bye bye. Oh my god. The car has broken down from use and abuse. It won't start up again. Have our favorite pick roast attempt to fix it. Mm. Pops up the hood and easily repaired. Once again, thank you, Pink Rose, for repairing the car. 
You're very nice. The group is driving around the ruined cities when they end up being surrounded at all sides of the horde. They are funneled into the only place that looks defendable, a ruined mall. CG alert, there's no escape. Well, 1.5 hours. Let us survive. Well, let's go. You can survive this well, let's don't worry, I have a chainsaw. The group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. They feel that they are getting the hang of this. Choose a reward. Basically, I uh, gave morale and random skills gain to everyone. Everyone's happy. You know, everyone's happy. Five bandits ambushed the group while they were about to sneak into a zombie infested house. This bandit speak a half whispered creatures attract the undead attention. When they send their hammer supplies, they yell. Call the bluff. I'm sorry, I'm just really bad mistakes, you know. Everyone is hurt. Sorry. Sorry, Pig Rose, you're hurt. Actress is hurt. Pretender is hurt. Find the isolated car garage. The sign says a master tuner. Then find some gas, a lot of spare parts in good condition. Car, car repair and tune up. Repair and fine tune up car for three days. Three days. Once again, our great subscriber named Pink Rose spends a few days in the garage. She hopes on improving the car to its limit. She does amazing work. The car is running better than new ultra 2 you know big rose i love you so much you did a very great job in this game i don't know why maybe i'm lucky uh, drive past them it's boring we just love talking how much day were we going to get we only have a three days until canada okay three days until canada on the end of the day, the group hides in drive the old house. Some zombies roam around outside, and the doors to the house are barely on their hinges. Should someone break at the houses, make someone secure it. I believe uh, myself can do it. No, I believe Pick Rails can do it. Wow, nice. Thank you, Pink Rose. You did it again. The group scans out the big field. The group is a decent meal. They find a royal car sitting in a hole in a wooden fence. Uh, shoot the f they shoot the cans. Nice. The group gets some shooting practice by blasting the cans. The man in red long johns runs in the field with a pitchfork. My cans! My precious antique cans! Oh, look what you done to them! He shakes with the pitch pitchfork as he yells. Oh no, Pink Rose is sad. Oh no. Don't forget to check every single toilet for toilet loot. The group meets another person just chilling in the park bench. He seems friendly. They have a conversation just like before the world ended. What was the main topic? And uh. Epic Rose exchange advice. Pink Rose, you did it again. You increased the morale of the team, and also you increased the shooting skills of the Atlas shooting skills. What? Okay. Bye bye. Let's go to the zombie apocalypse. I bet the alien is responsible for these zombies. Pig Rose sneak off when everyone is busy. She leaves uh, taking only what she was carrying and there's a note left behind wishing everyone's luck. What the fuck? Uh, Pig Rose, you're helping the whole game and suddenly you're leaving? Why? Why do you do that?
God damn it. Oh no, we don't have any pick rows in our team. It's sad that our team just left the group. You know, sad day. Yeah. Just sad. Just Atlas with me. That's how the card car doesn't break down this time because we'll lose uh, more we just lose nearly the border of Canada the group surrounded by a seemingly endless undead to survive they must face the last siege this is the final siege but not the last battle four hours no problem we can do this Almost at the Canada. Don't worry, guys. We're almost there. Look at the snow. We're almost at the Canada. Let's go, let's go. At boot team. Squish. Squish. Face off. Just we reach Canada. That's why. Squirt, squirt, squish. Defend! Defend the Canada! We must go back to pass! Do not let them pass! The Canada must win! Is your boot done? Don't worry. Canada will survive. Because the robot Canada is here! Let me take care of this. Canada, Canada, you're really great. A pair of potatoes are the best. We're finally at the cat. Oh, sorry to every Canadians that watch my videos. I did not butcher any songs about your country, so I'm really for uh, forgive me if I'm insulting you in this game sorry just a game so please don't report to any authorities about me being bullshit in this game here's a tune eh? about the double break and the uh, no that's not a Canadian voice hey look is the president uh, the Canadian uh, the Canadian Prime Minister you got a can do us today e e you got a can do at today. Congrats for making it to Canada. Prime Minister himself congratulating us. Thank you. Thank you for all viewers. Over to Canada, please. Give up. Help from my pals. I have a, I said a lot of familiar faces. Uh, thank you everyone for watching this game. Uh, we uh, I like to announce that we we reach about 35 subscribers now. So I thank you again for watching my videos, and I hope you enjoy me in the future videos. And goodbye. <laughs>